Good morning and happy Sunday, September 1st. I haven't vlogged in what feels like two to three weeks, probably because it's been two to three weeks um, when we went to Vero Beach. And so I wanted to show you guys something that I've done on YouTube quite a bit actually, and that is how I decorate my home for Halloween. Um, it is 8.18. I woke up around 7 and honestly just laid in bed and scrolled Instagram. Um, but now I'm up, as you can see by my <laughs> bed hair. Um, I need to get ready and then we're going to go ahead and, we be me, um, strip the beds, make the beds over with the Halloween sheets and comforter. And then I need to get down all of my Halloween bins from our risers in our garage and switch out the Americana decorations for the Halloween decorations. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me, um, but let me go ahead and try to do something with all this, so. I cannot believe my bracelet came off. I'm gonna have to take that back to the voltage bar at Florida Mall and have them re-solder this. This was the second one I got. I had my first one done, um, you can kinda see it's a little heart one, maybe a year ago now, um, but this is the second one. I, when I brought my mom back, I got this one and it just snapped off when I tried to pull off my watch. I grabbed it and pulled it and it pulled off. Anyway, um, I am ready, and now I need to transform this mess of a bed, which honestly I'm not even going to bother to make it because I'm going to switch it out for my Halloween, as I mentioned. So this needs to transform into to this. Look at that puppy. Mom and I literally just realized <laughs> black was not the move because this one right here sheds. <laughs> So we'll see how long the black lasts, but we got these sheets at Marshall's. I picked this pretty white with black pattern. There's black cats and ghosts and bats and skulls and a pretty little vine scroll. And then mom's is the exact same black comforter, but she has a pink theme with little ghosties and candy corn. Hi baby. And then I also switched out my, ignore that, it's my little Goodwill section I need to get rid of, blanket on my chair. Look at the lollipops. I freaked out. I mean, stop it with the Frankie Pop. The Ghosty Pop. <laughs> so cute. All right, so bedding, check. I need to now work on the big project, which is the bins and the decorations throughout the living room. And that's pretty much going to take me the rest of the morning. Okay, so got the majority of 4th of July down, all of the Halloween bins in from outside. And pro tip, don't wear a little sweat set, a little sweater set in September in Florida in your garage. It's still hot. I had to like pull all of this in in my bra and underwear because I was sweating. So um, we're going to start to kind of unbox things and make piles. Generally, when I decorate, I like to do different... Oh, well, Arnie, maybe you shouldn't be messing with stuff. Um, I like to do different stations. So like I have, you can kind of see in this bin, some different potion bottles and things. So I like to decorate a whole shelf or area with all my potion bottles and kind of make it look like an apothecary. Um, so I definitely have specific areas and sections that I have done for the past couple of years. When I first started decorating, I would just kind of mix it all together um, and I might go back to that at some point, but I really like the themed areas and I'm definitely thinking of sticking with that again this year. Um, but let's get started, shall we? Arnold, are you going to be helpful or in the way? In the way. I'm going to vote for in the way. That beagle nose of his. All right.
All right, officially wanted to give you a tour now that we are done. Still has some cleaning things to do like vacuuming and it is almost four o'clock, it's 3.53. So generally decorating like this takes me the majority of the day because I'm having to take down and then switch out. Um, but starting at the front door, we have my new Mickey wreath that I did get this year. Very, very happy with. Here on the first stair landing, I have my Mr. Mushnick's flower shop, of course, with Seymour, not Seymour, <laughs> with Audrey too, there on the second shelf on the left, so super happy with that. And then moving up the stairs, we have probably one of my most unsure areas. Um, I've got like a pumpkin farm haunted house, black and orange kind of vibe there. So just a mixture of different textured pumpkins, some are glass, some are plastic, some are wood with a little pumpkin truck and haunted house there. Still moving up, we have probably my favorite shelving this year and that is my apothecary shelves. I definitely need more potions, but I really like how it turned out. So we've got a glitter globe, some books, they're actually faux books. You can just store things in them. Some potions and my skelly mirror that I got this year at TJ. Then more potions across. So super happy with that. Wanted to show you one more time the bed areas now that I have mom's done. So we moved the black blanket and Frankie and bride pillow to her room this year. Black comforter. This was the pink I was telling you about that she got. So cute. And then we put that where she likes to have a little throw. And then I've already shown you guys my bedding as soon as I switched it out, but I figured I'd show you again because I also went ahead and updated our shelf with all of our little trinkets. I'm hoping to get the new Mickey Popcorn bucket this year, but it's not like I need one. Hi, baby. Can I see your popcorn ball? Speaking of popcorn buckets, no? He wants to play, but he doesn't like give it. See, <laughs> he's so funny. Let me take you back downstairs so I can show you the living room. Okay, back at the front door, just to give you a reference. Now, instead of going up the stairs, we're turning into the living room here. I did Frankie and Bride on the shelves above the couch, which I'm super happy with. Love that Frankie gnome. And we've got Frankie Bride statue. And then Frankie Popcorn Bucket from Universal. I have kind of a another one, um, like my Pumpkin Patch, Pumpkin Farm shelf. Not 100% sold on this one, um, but I still think it's really sweet. So cute. I got this bat mirror last year at Michael's, I'm fairly certain, and just love it. We've got kitchen now. So towels. Ghosty and pumpkin. We'll probably have to get new ones, Mama um, said, and I agree, because, I mean, we use our dish towels, so that one just is kind of staining weird. And then the tea station. And that is it. Sold out by the time we get up there. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> you better run. Honey, they have them, um, or at least they have the sign for them, so that we gotta get in line. Huh? I said they have the sign, we'll see. Okay, let's get in line. That's the whole reason. I just can't reach. We placed our order at, I think it actually was really fast. 
We placed our order at uh, 6.02 and at 6.11, so really quick. We found a table, I'm super backlit, but we were able to get our ghoulish beignets. We brought um, Aunt Lisa and Nicole JR here last year when they had these, and these by far are my favorite seasonal beignet that they do. They're so good. They're really hot. They clearly just came out of the the whatever. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to take a bite. They're really hot. Okay, gonna, what's your trick to the other one? I'm gonna burn myself. Take a bite. Do it for the team. Yeah, I think we keep coming back for those, right? They're so good. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm going to get napkins. <laughs> Me, I'll go get some. What's hot, hot, Mom's reacting now. Whoop, whoop. They're so good. They're so yummy. And everywhere. I just texted my friend and told her she has to hurry up and get some. They go she everywhere, was, but... She was worried about getting them that Magic Kingdom. I'm like, no, you gotta mm -hmm. come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. We looped the Sassabula Float Works and decided we were going to get food at River... Wait, are we at Riverside? No, we're at... We are at Port Orleans, French Quarter, so we're gonna go to Riverside to get food. But before we left, I spotted Naveen and Tiana and Dr. Facilier playing cards. Those are so cool. I've never seen those before. I'm sure they've been here this whole time, but I'm just a clue girl. Um, but here the, they have the standard like pizza, burgers. It's quick service. Yeah, quick service. And so good options, but the other side, I swear they have this like make your own rice jambalaya thingy that I want to get. Um, but this is what they do have, which is good for if you're here. Yeah. But the good thing about the good thing about um, French Quarter and Riverside is their connecting resort. Right. So you have the ability to go to either side and you can get menus on this side, go eat on that side, shop on that side, whatever. Which is also what we're gonna do because we checked out the shop, but this one's much smaller. Yeah, the other yeah. side's and a bigger shop, so bigger shop, so we're gonna see what they have. But they have the beignets here. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta just come for those. <laughs> Driving to which side? Riverside. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Riverside side from French Quarter side. And there's a rainbow. These trees are in the way now. Dang it. Let's see. Now it's Disney Magic. There's a rainbow. There were beignets at the end of the rainbow. Oh, oh yes. They were beignets oh, there we go. at the beginning of the rainbow. That was delicious. That's right in between the trees. I don't think you're going to be able to see. Can you? Yeah, right there. Yep. So pretty. Had his grilled chicken sandwich that he loved. Good. Mama got chicken nuggies. That's like five. And she said she's gonna be eating that in 30 days and not having to pay for it because we'll be on the cruise. 33. 33 days. <laughs> and you'll be able to get the room service wings. Oh, I forgot about the room, room service, service, service wings. wings. And the cookie a day or the pie a day. Mm, I'm ready. Ready. But wanted to point out on this side, because I don't think I saw it too much on the other side, they've really spaced out these tables. Not so much those two, um, but this dining room is just, there's a lot of space, which is really nice. I don't know if that's a reflection of still post COVID or what, um, but they honestly, I feel like the menus were exactly the same. We probably could have gotten the food over there too. I didn't see anything. The only difference I saw was there was a Mediterranean chickpea salad on the other side that I didn't see here. Um, but it, say, it seems to be the same like salad and sandwiches, pizzas, pastas, so I think you're good either way. They have a dessert case over here though. Oh yeah. They have, they have um, the kitchen, like the, the mini, kitchen, the mini the sundae. Sink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see that on the other side. I you're right. So, that's so I guess it, I guess it is good to check both just to be sure. And you are so close. If you really wanted yeah. something over there, you could walk back. It's definitely walk. But good sandwich, baby. Gone sandwich. Gone work sandwich. After work. Delicious. I was gonna say this is a good um, decorating the house reward. Those beignets were a good decorating the house reward. 